I'm here now on the PVM booth. You can see here it has a new Mantis synthesizer. It's a hybrid synth and we can see it has uh, digital oscillators, analog filters and so on. And I'm here also on the booth with Paul, hey. the chief developer. Hi, hello. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. It's good to see you again. Um, Paul, Mantis is your second synthesizer. That's right, yeah. What makes Mantis special? So it's a hybrid analog synthesizer as you introduced. We made an analog first and we plan in third to make a digital synthesizer. So we have teams working on different things. Mm -hmm. The thing that makes the hybrid particularly special is my partnership with the late Chris Huggett who developed the Wasp and the Oscar and a load of synthesizers for Novation. This is the last synth that he worked on. It's largely his design with me. So it's, it's kind of based on the Wasp if you like. Okay, so it's Chris Huggett's synthesizer. Indeed. Oh! Yes! And um, just a little treat on the back, if you can see the back, I can show you. It's uh, just to honour the great man. We've just popped his signature on there as well. Okay. <laughs> um, this is made very much with the blessing of his family, his wife. And it's a, it's a polyphonic scent. It's duophonic. So it has two distinct um, voice paths. Mm -hmm. So not paraphonic, it is proper duophonic, so two notes. So we have the, the oscillators are digital, are, they have some special waveforms or they is it are more classic? Yeah, they're, they're, they're mathematically calculated at power and it's one of the special things about what Chris used to do, so to adding sine waves together and, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we also have space for some tables, so we'll put some of our own wave tables in there. Um, so we'll have a nice selection of basic waves to use, but they're very pure and very um, they can very be, nice. Uh, they can be uh, changed, exchanged, so there will be no... no no, they'll, they'll be fixed. They'll, fixed, they'll be okay. calculated and, and fixed. Yeah. Uh, analog. You. What kind of analog filters are you using? So the filter is. Um, it's a dual filter. There's two of them, but they can be put in series and parallel. It's based on um, using VCAs in a way that Chris originally thought of for the Oscar. So though we have kind of the wasp sound, mm -hmm. it's like an Oscar filter. Okay. With the dual filter with the twin peaks, and you're able to move the width in and out and modulate. Okay. Uh, using various parameters. And I see here uh, envelopes, they are one, two, right? Yeah, two envelopes to use. The first one's uh, normal to amplitude and the second one you can patch any way you like. And a cool repeat function. I it see. has repeat, yeah, and it has sustain fall, mm -hmm. which is a, a unique little Chris trick. So you go attack, you go decay, you hold down the key and there's a little fall off if you want to use it. Mm -hmm. And then when you release the key, it goes uh, into the release phase. And there's also, I think, uh, there's a reverb, chorus, as he has an yeah. effect. So those are the digital, so they're back on the DSP. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just to give a much more rounded instrument. You know, reverb, of course, has a lovely flavor mm -hmm. to the sound. And, and you see an arpeggiator uh, yes. and so on. Uh, there's also a scale. As you're, you're yeah, so this is, this is how you deal with modulation. You pick a parameter you want to modulate, mm -hmm. and then you pick what you want to modulate it by, and then if you want to scale it. So that would be ah, one-to-one. Okay. One. So a little modulation matrix. It's a mini matrix. We call it mod roots mm -hmm. because essentially it's very simple. It's and just this, this times this. And this thing uh, fall, uh, in directly in my eyes, is this for the patches? That's or? right. So we have 100 factory patches and 100 used patches. Completely all rewritable if you want to. So a bank A and a bank B, so you select 0 and 1, or 0 mm -hmm. and 2, or 3 and 0. Very simple, and okay. a bank A and a bank B. Um, to be straight uh, to the point, what mm. makes your synthesizer unique? Because <laughs> there are many paraphonic synths out there, or sure. also hybrid synths. Well, not so many geophonics, but um, so that's one thing maybe you mm. might say. But it's the heritage sound, it's that Chris Huggett special stuff. It is that Oscar filter, that dual filter. Nothing else really sounds like this. How, how and, uh, and how far we are in the development? Because I see here the development board yes. that you are playing later. That's uh, right. So, so, so if the truth be told, to be very honest with you, we are a little early to super booth with this. This is an engineering sample. So our process is we develop everything on, um, on a development kit, which is what this is. And then when the firmware is ready, we translate it onto the design for manufacture mm. hardware. And, and the firmware is somewhere in the middle here. And this was the synth you were playing last year? Uh, this was. Yeah. Yeah. That's and right. uh, so we are aware not, not for the release, so of yeah, which we, point? We, we are all there with, uh, with the schedule, so we will be shipping 
in late summer. That's okay. when we want to ship. Already a price? Detail? Yeah, we do, we do. So 1599 euros, okay. including VAT, is the MSRP. Okay. So it will be definitely a bit higher than compared to your first SIN? Very much so, but being a, a polyphonic and being what it is and with all that heritage, it's a good deal. It's in that kind of spot between, you know, it's not like a 4,000 euro SIN. So okay. hopefully it will be affordable for people. And I see the key keypad is probably key key uh, Fatah. It's not Fatah. Okay. Um, it is um, made not by the, the factory that, uh, that we produce the, okay. uh, the whole product is in. It but it is, it is their, yes, it's okay. channel aftertouch and it's their very highest quality keybed with weights underneath the key, so mm -hmm. it feels really nice. And also the, the joystick. The characteristic joystick from the Malevolent. Okay. Yeah. There you Thank go. you, Paul. You're welcome. These are just some waveforms, just so that you can hear the filter. This is just building a sound from scratch, just to show how, how easy it is to get something. Yeah, 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 yeah